So after the original run of 62 Goosebumps books, there have been tons of different short-lived series, a whole bunch of them. Uh, one of the first ones that I remember was Goosebumps Series 2000. And that it was came right after. Right after, and it was just kind of a continuation of Goosebumps, but under a new brand, kind of for a new generation, because they're made for kids around the age of 12, and by the time these came out, those kids were now in their 20s and things like that. So it's kind of a rebranding. Uh, not quite as popular, and right around the same time, because I, I remember getting some of these, you had the yeah, Reader had Beware, You Choose the Scare, which I loved these, and I remember this one in particular, because it was just like the old 80s, you know, Choose Your Own Adventure books, and there's a whole bunch of those. We have that, I have a whole stack of those. Those are pretty cool, and, and they always also, had pretty shiny covers. Too, yeah, those were cool. I like did. the covers. Yeah, that was a good series. They had Give Yourself Goosebumps, which are kind of the same thing. Yeah, I think uh, this one's a hard, later. Yeah. hard cover, which I really like. Mm -hmm. um, but these were cool because they were Choose Your Own Adventure, but they were a little bit different. This one's a sci-fi one. Yeah. So I really like that. And then you even had stuff like Still More Goosebumps. Still More. And even more Tales to Give You Goosebumps. They just kept going with all these short run little series. And you even had comic book versions of Goosebumps. Graphic through graph novel. Well, yeah, they got some more graphic, graphic novels. Novel. Yeah. Um, these actually came out, I think they started... I don't know if they started before. I think it was These before. Are, I feel like they were before. These were for teens, which was yeah. really cool because it was something that, like, there was no young adult. Yeah. Now there's, like, a huge young adult section, but yeah. these were kind of, like, the first, like, young adult. So you could grow into them after the yeah. original Goosebumps but run and things like I that. I was never a huge fan yeah. of these. I think they were older, yeah. I, I really, I think he hit his stride with the original. Yeah. And I think these were, these were okay. I had, I had probably a handful of these, um, but... Yeah. But and yeah, there definitely. were lots of reprints. We showed you a couple different reprints that we had, uh, different ones. They also had some that were printed in box sets and other ones that were printed in like a three for one value thing here. And you had ones that were reprinted they again. Just reprinted, reprinted those. these with the, with the motion picture. And a lot of these are just the original, like this original Ghost Speech, just with the new movie cover. And but weird not looking. super happy with that cover. No. Most the new ones most of the new weird. ones are not good. Occasionally you get a good one, but most of them don't compare to the original. Yeah. So. Um, then there's also Goosebumps Live on Stage. Which I did not know existed, that there was like a, a stage version yeah, of Goosebumps. that. But kind of interesting. And there's a little forward yeah. with R.L. Stein, which yeah. is cool. We have the, the more tales to give you Goosebumps. There's more, even, still more, and even more. There was yes. like three different series of Goosebumps, and you had um, Most Wanted. That's a newer one. That's a newer there's one a whole here. series of that. And then I think Harland was a pretty old one, too. I think that was with like 2000s. I think that yeah. was right yeah. after that. Um, but this is a whole series as well of the 2000s. And then, um, oh, you, so yeah, that's pretty much for Goosebumps. There's a whole bunch there, and then again, so a lot of more related stuff. You had the like the Fear Street, and mm -hmm. then there were more eventually more kid-friendly Fear Street ones because Fear yeah. Street started more as a, a teenager, young adult type thing. Goosebumps was more for like kids, and then there were more made for that age group of Fear Street. So that continued that series a little bit more. Um, you have others like kind of standalone ones, Arl Stein, The Beast. Thrill rides, a whole bunch here is just endless, and that's just a small sampling of all the different ones. But yeah, there's a yeah. lot. But it's um, really that core original '62 that both yeah. hold the memories for us and are like the peak of popularity and what everyone thinks of. And it's yeah. just sort of like a I lot really of these don't are don't like these covers either. Yeah, a lot of the new ones are not very great, and it's just um, even some of the stories. Like some of them are good. Some re some of them are just like I don't know, just like shovelware kid stories and or retreads of old Goosebumps books because it's been long yeah. enough that kids probably haven't read them so some of them are good but I do think as far as the outside of the original 62 I think the Reader Beware run Those are really cool. was probably my favorite. Because I didn't read the Choose Your Own Adventure ones mm -hmm. so to me that was like the first instance of that Yeah. so yeah. I thought it was a really original yeah. idea but do you remember any of these other series? Yeah. Do you? Have, Did you like yeah. any of them? Yeah, did you like any of them? Because I know a lot of them, a lot of people didn't like some of the more se uh, different series. I think this is one of the more um, recent ones that's popular, the Harland series. I think those do pretty well. Uh, but overall, it's been, it's like varying levels of success. Mm -hmm. And some of them are even, you know, less than a year. They have a couple volumes and some well, go on And for I don't a while. think the print runs are as big. No, they're definitely not. Because no. those are really hard to find. Yeah. Like the original 62 are hard, yeah. but like these are just, yeah. we've never yeah. the found original, those, which is The big weird. difference too is the original 62, a lot of them were in school libraries and like even public libraries and stuff would have you know, a complete set sometimes and they would just be full of them. And I don't think quite as many of these newer ones make it into uh, school libraries or public you know, library systems. I think there's fewer print runs. They might have a couple, like five out of 10 or something. So mm -hmm. I think that's another big thing is that they weren't in the education system as much, and that's not the, the market was spread much larger. Yeah. So. 
Anyway, so that is the end of the Goosebumps as far as the books are concerned. We had a whole no. bunch of stuff here, and we're going to move into some other Goosebumps related stuff mm -hmm. through the end.